Hallelujah. I think we should take time out to just appreciate God for bringing us here tonight. Let's go ahead and appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for ensuring that you are counted amongst the living on a day like this, despite the wickedness of the wicked, despite the evil of evildoers, despite the assignments of the messengers of death. Here you are in this carol service on the 4th of December, 2022. Tell God the Almighty, Father, Lord, I am grateful. I am grateful. I am so grateful. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together tonight. Thank you because we are in your presence. Lord Almighty, we ask, O oh God, that you cover us with your glory that tonight will not be an ordinary night. Tonight will be a night of great rejoicing. A night that the lions fall together in pleasant places. A night of a turnaround and a night of great glory. Lord, we pray that as we go on, you will go with us. You will help us and you do new things in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now let's shout a louder amen tonight. Let's shout a louder amen. I want to hear you from behind. If you believe God is here, shout a big amen. If the Lord is visiting you tonight, shout a big hallelujah. Come on, shout a loud hallelujah. Amen. Let's clap for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Have your seat. Praise the name of the Lord. It's such a wonderful, wonderful time in His presence, and I'm delighted. I'm sure you are too to be here tonight. So, the 2022 Carol Service, Tag Prince of Peace 6.0. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. For those who are coming for the first time, this is the sixth edition of Prince of Peace. We started six years ago when we were at the Nikon Luxury Hotel, and we had the first one. And the theme was Prince of Peace. But because we realized that there's nothing more we are seeking than peace in every area of our lives, you know, we made it a permanent theme. So that it doesn't matter what has been your trouble. By the time you come into the presence of the Prince of Peace, Prince of Peace, he will grant you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. So once again, you are welcome in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. I want us one more time to clap for the choir and all those who have already ministered tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. I've just come to give a charge and to appreciate you on behalf of the almighty God for being present. Carols mean a lot to us as Christians. They are deep uh, modes of communication. communication. And uh, we've listened to so many and we can hear what the heavenlies are saying to the galaxies. And tonight, everything you have heard will bear fruit in your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to encourage somebody tonight with a very brief word. From that same book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, we've read it so many times tonight, and I'll just go through it again and bring out one or two things from that scripture. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. You see, there are some scriptures that you don't read fa too fast or you take them solemnly because they have deep implications and because of their deep meanings, we must absorb them. For unto us a child is born and unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder 
and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Verse 7 says, Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the first time in the Bible, at least in the King, King James, that they are using the word government. Government. And it brings us to our own time that we live in all over the world, where nations are governed, homes are governed, lives are even governed. There, are, there was a time of slavery when the slave masters governed the lives of the slaves. There was a time long, long ago when the, where the kings, they governed the affairs of men with hardness and with cruelty. Even the children of Israel were in prison for four, were in captivity for 430 years, governed by the laws of Egypt, laws alien to them. But they had no choice but to obey for that season. And the day came, the Almighty God heard their cry, and he delivered them. I want to announce to somebody tonight, it doesn't matter what has put you in captivity in one way or the, other, or the other. Tonight, God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. You know, something happened at the wedding of Cana at Galilee. The Bible says while the wine finished, a miracle happened behind the scene. Not everybody knew. I'm assuring somebody here tonight that a miracle will happen in your life. I say, it doesn't matter what we are celebrating. It could be a carol night, it could be a prince of peace night, but the power of the Holy Ghost is still at work. And it's touching somebody in a special way tonight. If you're that person, shout a big amen. I say, shout a big amen. Because tonight, God will do a miracle in your body. He will do a miracle in your home, a miracle in your business, a miracle in your job, and a miracle in your family. Something will turn around tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the almighty God freed them from captivity. Because he came down from his throne. Sent his servants. Enabled them. Empowered them. Anointed them. And they carried the power of God. Into the government of Egypt. And by the time God made himself manifest. Government changed in Egypt. And instructions changed in Egypt. And the one that said, no, you cannot go. Because of the government of the Almighty. He said, go, leave me alone. I don't want you anymore. Even when he changed his mind, Pharaoh, and decided to pursue them, he didn't know that he was no longer in power. That there was another government already reigning that consumed him and his armies. I speak with the authority of heaven tonight. Everyone that will dare to pursue you, from the government of the old, they are consumed with the evil Thank you. 
Let not your heart be troubled. 
Because I am the one who is reigning right now, the Prince of Peace. Tonight, in this place, you are in I want you to close your eyes for a minute and speak to the Almighty God. Whatever this issue you have come with into this place, you will not live to take the name of Jesus. Because the government of your father is getting more powerful. It's increasing, it's getting more authoritative. So go ahead, go ahead and tell him, this issue of my life, when I have been experiencing thorns, Lord Almighty, I need your peace tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Say, I need your peace in my home. I need your peace in my life. This is the night for the Prince of Peace. That is why we gather like this. We spend a lot of money just for an event. It's not just an event. It is a time for an encounter. It is worth a billion dollars if I may care. That for you to be delivered, this is the time for you. Lord God Almighty, you that did that miracle at Cana of Galilee, why men come to just a party from having a miracle to bless them? Father, do a miracle in my life tonight. Because you are the Prince of Peace, give me strong peace. Give me permanent peace. Peace that will remove trouble from my heart. Give it to me tonight. That will remove anxiety and worry. That will remove fear. Father, give it to me. That is why I have come here tonight. And that is why you have brought me here tonight. Father, let there be a miracle in my life. For in this you are all powerful. You are the Prince of Peace. Give me. Give me peace. Open your mouth and pray the Lord. Children, establish peace, mighty Father, upon this nation of Everyone, 